Hello, welcome back to part 12 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content, send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this video tutorial we're gonna build the grid in the map builder and the first thing I want to do is set up a constant variable in the game class of the map builder and let's do that first and that's a public constant int and we call it the tile size and it's 16 all right the size of a tile And the next thing I want to do is handle the keyboard. So let's do that. And therefore we're going to need a private keyboard state. A current keyboard state. And a private keyboard state. Previous keyboard states. Okay. Represents the current keyboard states and represents the previous keyboard states. Okay, and now we can do in the update method the following. I've removed the first line and we replace it with the uh, current keyboard state. So get the current keyboard state and the current keyboard state is equals to keyboard dot cat state All right. and at the end we can say that the previous keyboard state is equals to the current keyboard state All right. set the previous keyboard state All right. That's the keyboard state and set the previous keyboard state. All right. And now we're gonna set the exit button just here. So if utils dot check keyboard and then we pass the current keyboard state and the previous keyboard state and the key is the escape key. escape so when we press the escape key this exit all right allows the game to exit escape Okay. Well, and with this done, it's now time to create the grid. So let's do that. Go to project, add class, 
and we call it crits dot cs right and the first thing we're gonna do is copy the using block from the object class so and we add a using statement using Microsoft's XNA framework input for the keyboard and joystick and now we're gonna define some private variable and the first thing we need are the keyboard states just the same as in the game class so we can copy that just like this Now we need a private int crit with the width of the crit in tiles and we have a private int grid height the height of the grid in tiles right and we need a factor 2 for the position the position of the grid on the screen and we need another private int for the tile size the tile size of the grid and finally we need a private boolean and we call it draw and this one indicates if the grid should be drawn or not. Okay. And now it's time for the constructor. So let's build the constructor. And that's a public grid and we passed in the tile size and an integer for the grid width and an int for the grid height and a factor 2 for the position alright get a local copy of the values passed in right and now we can say that this tile size is tile size and this grid width is grid width right and the grid this grid height is grid height and the, the last one is this position is position right set the draw flag default on true so draw is true alright and 
This is the grids constructor and the tile size uh, of the grids. This is the width of the grids in tiles. The height of the grids in tiles. And this is the position of the grids on the screen. Alright, constructor Okay And with the constructor done we're gonna build the update methods and that's a public Voids updates game time and what we're gonna do here is get the current keyboard states and that's an easy one. The current keyboard state is keyboard dot get state and at the end we set the previous keyboard state so the previous keyboard state is equal to the current keyboard state and just between it we're gonna say that if the utils check keyboards and then we passed the current keyboard state and the previous keyboard state and we're gonna ask if the key T is pressed and if so we're gonna say that draw is equals to not draw so we can toggle the grids on and off right Okay. Update the grid and provide a snapshot of timing values. And that's the update. Right, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna finish the tutorial here, and in the next tutorial, we're gonna implement the grids in the game class for the map builder, and we can start building the cursor class. So I hope you enjoy, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.